doubling up now to be bringing you the North American stuff. So if you are as uh, screwed in the sleep schedule. Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, four players into lower dark, Alex. That's Just answer. four. That, that's the answer to the question. And look at the uh, Hunter and Nico partnership to solve that. Aha. Uh -huh. They don't even have the bomb. That was just to house any potential funny business. And the funny business continues. Three pushing up mid. Three pushing up mid. Aminate. They're all in like a strike position. Yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is already very fruity. And G2. They anticipated it. They had a counter to the counter. Such a strange look for Dust too, seeing the CTs <laughs> barreling up like that, isn't it? But had it come to expect it. Jack's quick on the flick. Dihar now he's Ooh. being good. The bomb segregated, Alex. The bomb is outside tunnels. Dihar's locked into B. He pushes oh, oh, forward. Oh. It's a two v one now. He's up. Wait, the bomb's going back to A. The one v four, and he's going to mid doors. He might even catch a glimpse of Nex, the old Nex. I would have spotted him there. Uh, the old Dust too, rather. Uh, well, yeah, this is actually up for discussion. No way! What is? What is happening? Nex is going back. He's got to go back to B now. No, D is aware. He is just switched on. What is happening? He is switched on. Everything he's done is perfect, and he spots the head. Oh, no, no, no way! It's 16 HP. This would be some clutch. G2 only needed one more frag. They had four hearts beating. Nexa to plant flashes him off. Nexa v Diha. Some stunning clicks out of the pole. Pushing the smoke, some tags, and it's the frag. Bit of relief. Ends of force. Oh, Hades has been caught, and it's a fight on the doors. Doesn't matter the change. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, sorry, I'm still just... I, I just can't... But I couldn't imagine any worse way to start off the third map with so many implications if G2 had lost that. <laughs> well, I'm just... I mean, or incredibly, for Ends, of course. I'm just thinking about the G2 tilt factor. Those boys aren't... Known. Known. Known to let it go. Let it slide. I uh, sent Carrigan a DM. I said, hello, Carrigan. Looking for your official prediction for this final map. He said, overtime incoming. Just to make things... Uh, just to make me full stressed. <sighs> so, uh, Wowzers. It is going to be looking like an A finish here. And two players to get past. Snappy scouts out. Nico is out and about. Down towards CT spawn. Diaz Fallis is good, though. And oh, another kill for Diha. He continues to fight. He's on a heater. And now Doto's hitting shots as well. G2 counting on Nexa. He saved them once. Can he save them again? No. Off camera as well there. And a couple of bangers here out of Ents as we tie it up 1-1. The force by back. Deagle's out for G2. Scout for Amino. Let's see if he can have another gnarly shot through the doors here. But this one, it's going to slow on down a little bit. Lower Dark Steps heard. Snappy. Should be aware that they're close now. This is looking more like a standard dust two round, so no funny business here. Can you wait till Diha starts pulling oh. the trigger. Damn, Amanek. Oh, that's two in a He's row. two for two. Through the doors into the head. The scout setting G2 up for a competitive one here. They're surging into the sight flash. Ooh, forces Hades off. One more chance. And Nico seizes it. Okay, this is going to be a very spooky dust too. I can feel it in the waters. Diha continues to kick up a fast. Every shot connects. Diha, he wants that major. Denies oh, it. Oh, get out of my server. He's a monster. Absolutely possessed. G2 just got everything. Every You get your opener mid. The tag's there, so they are continuing this up. And oh. He's tagged two people in two shots. Himself. Uh, this guy's not meant to be a primary on the sniper rifles, at least with the impact. So that damage, unconfirmed, sure. But they still have Nico on the Deagle. If they can find a kill and tip something into these Glock's hands, hopefully, if you're a G2 fan, Deha is one of the scalps they find early here. They're all making their way silently up towards this catwalk position. They're all here. But this is where you do have to hope that Nico's deagle rings true. And we've seen him hit some bangers. This would be the perfect time to do exactly that. Hades is in transition right now, actively held by that snappy player. So, Eight. Ooh, evasive maneuvers. He just needs one chance. And that's nice wide from snappy.
Miss shot out of Hades. Amulet can take a little step further, but it's into the line of fire of Snappy, and he is delivering. Just housing any potential that was set up by Amonex tags. A Glock and a Dream. Scout shot doesn't quite connect. Hades holding on to his orb. Can't afford to lose that, but his teammates will be scooping that up regardless. Oh, right on. The a video that Launders did recently, you would have seen just the damage done by Alexi Bizzle on this very map. The util from that CT position can be fantastic to pepper players trying to work on the short control. And there's the first of what I'm sure will be many. Deha drops one out. Nobody close enough to take a lick of damage to that. And actually throwing them up. So we should see a HE from Snappy here towards lower tunnels. And this is where the map is going to take shape. Another nade coming. Nico's gotten out of there quite quickly. He's only going to sustain damage from the first. It's going to be three nades out of Snappy's hands here. Oh, Nico. <laughs> There's another one coming. You better watch out. You better not cry. Oh, they flubbed that one. Oh. Well, you can see what's destined for this half, ladies and gentlemen. Expect a lot more of that out of Vents here. It's naughty. But you can see what it's achieved. And I'm sure Nico's not too happy about things here. This is going to be a battle. Especially with D here in this form. They're to it long, they're coming knocking. The mid to B smokes are all a bit of a ruse. Doto up against three. Does catch Jax, turns the flash. He's looking good. Flashing himself for an engagement here. The cousins have partnered up in pursuit of that frag and they can't finish it. Doto takes them all down. The whole G2 squad pants. Uh, three losses, you're out. But you have to do that twice if you start in the contender and challenger stage. Touche. Okay. Back to long. No Dodo to worry about this time. He's doing things elsewhere. And he, actually, I say you don't have to worry about him. He's got a nade right on the money. Juggling that deagle, making sure they can find some value with it. To be fair, when you think about things, right, that was all through the CT half in the last map for G2, right? Like getting those three rounds on the T side, not the hardest, but they managed to get seven rounds on their T side of Mirage, and then their CT side was weak. So we've seen good T halves from G2 and good CT halves from G2. Now we just need both of them to come together at the same time, whereas Ents, uh, look, I guess we could say the same. But in map number one, they had a good CT and a good T half. So off base there, I think. This is more of baiting out that U2, and I think on Mirage, G2 looked a bit scared to me, right? They looked a little bit scared, and, and we don't want to see that cropping up here again because we want a competitive map. We want a competitive third with so much on the line. They go back towards A. Another smoke to deny, and well, with 30 seconds left, they either have to play through it, and they will. Drop the Dismorn, Hamanek, that's huge. Okay, three pistol kills hey, in three seconds. Scary. Yeah, it just goes from a very quiet minute and a half. And they strike in unison. This could be unchecked. Oh, Deha continues to pull Entz forward into a fifth. Can he close? They got the kits. A flash from Spinks. Coming in from CT. Not going to be easy to set up his teammate here. Nexa to take the first engagement. Nico. Low, just the deagle. It's on this AK from Nexa to contribute here. Flash indicates his position. Good play, one on one. Has to clutch again. Play the time. Nexa looking to secure it, and he does. They should have been securing, but now, well, both teams have a buy and two towards lower here. That's for Nico to deal with. Alex and Hades gets the opening two kills immediately. Enters aggression. It pays off. A disaster. Lost. Space taken. Tons is under CT rule. And that's an interesting call. Knowing that all that tons was taken, all that space was taken in tons, they choose to return upon the fade. 
But now they can just reset into a normal Dust 2, right? And that just melts so much time off the clock, right? You know when we have a map like Overpass, guys, and we talk about the CTs going forward up to Playground, wanting to take fights up their Fountain, and then them having to comb and claw back through the map? Well, they have to do the same task right now with Upper Tunnels. And even if they get this area of the map, they don't know what the CT defense looks like at all. No info long, no info mid. Everybody nestled in Upper Tunnels, and that's coming towards Spinks and Snappy. Yeah, there's one way in which Jax could catch Sphinx on this jiggle. But Jax the Orpa. <laughs> he's not going to get the early warning sign. A nice escape from Sphinx. Smokes it off. Turns the flash. And, well, that might be enough from G2 to change their plan. What on earth is going on here? Well, denied. And there's still only two players residing on the site here from Ents. I think they're calling the save. There's so much indecision right now. And that, I guess, comes from the fact that they don't know what's going on on the map. So Ents, just through the early phrase of this one here, cause absolute chaos. They'll save the AWP for Amanek. Great. There's two AKs to carry through as well. Amanek has enough to drop an AK. Uh, so that's all right there too. One player who did have a, a good position for it's jumped on down the suicide, dropped a molly to stop them from going suicide. Uh, sorry, lower dark. And that's help, but now they're pushing up at tunnels. Here we go. Oh, this is mental. What a gap. I love this. Yeah, Jax. Oh, he's already gone down. Hunter's <laughs> next. And yeah, they're feeling the wrath of events. Look at all the nades they're playing with as well, Chad. They are going to bully G2. <laughs> oh, like a rumba. They immediately responded to that molly. Like, yep. they just, well, we'll just push up at tunnels. You're so worried about lower dark. We'll have pressure elsewhere. Nico might put his fifth through his desk. Oh, adjusts. Okay, space on B. Smoke deployed. It's got a huge gap in it. Massive gap in it. And that could lead to Nico's demise. They're all coming into B. Hades is posted re up. It, Amanek. Re Someone resmoke it. It's a dodgy one. That's a lot better. The retake. Four versus three. It might go fast. There's a flash primed. Yeah. Amanek, he's got to be careful here. Throws out a flash of his own to delay. Burning now. Considering the push. There's four members here for this. A couple of flashes, or just the one, in fact, on Hades. Smoke from Snappy for the tunnel's position if he desires, or perhaps even the bomb. And this is the go sign. Snappy and draws blood. Flash. Just dry. Just dry. Dota again, and that's the end of them. And six. And G2 looking discombobulating just slammed on their eardrums oh. from both sides. That was huge from Amanek. It Hades was. is gone. The offer on the other side's down. He's been playing like that Dust Dude's cross simulator. Getting it drilled. And Nico puts a second on the board as well. Oh, no. They've lined up. <laughs> oh, snappy. He nearly took down three with one spray, bro. Oh, it's oh and Sphinx is pushing the smoke. This is chaos. Calm it down. Bomb long. Snappy screams, Hunter's taking fights, Snappy <laughs> takes a third. <sighs> and straight into the Ori about the long takes whatsoever. It looks like G2 have an answer with that fast mid molly, but it doesn't stop a lot. Doesn't stop Snappy. Using that Xbox smoke against him, we'll get information that there's nothing... Act oh, Nico's going to swallow that as well, or at least tickles his toes. Half investment here from G2. Just looking to put themselves on the board, and they've done it a couple of times. We saw not only the pistol, but the Deagles did put their second on the board. Oh, and the nade juggling. You're going to get more. An extra chance from Snappy. The timing looks perfect, and that is perfection. Look at this CTU till raining down Terra. G2 don't get to play the game. They only have two rounds. One was the pistol. The other was a light buy. Wow. I may as well almost have been called an eco. Yeah, a deco. Uh, a stretch. Oh, another nade coming on through. Oh, bowling from d -Hut. They're all just inspecting Nico's corpse. Hey, um, you got anything we can take? Any, any loot around here? Does feel a little bit more like a BR. Getting hunted at this point, the poor souls. And oh, the timing on his spray. He does choose to engage. They try and leap over the spray. Next to that's something. But yeah, you're not going to get into the B site for free. Spinks lying in wait. Amanek looking the wrong way. 
Nex is in trouble, and Sphinx will Flicky. finish things off. Clear confidence in Ancient than anything else. They've been shell-shocked early here. Well, there's still an opportunity to get back into this one. Maybe they have just as many cheeky-beaky plays for their CT side, but the Upper Dark Aggress again. Hunter, ready for that. Now that Deathmatch is really beginning, We've seen this several times before. Now they have to convert. You can't let another one of these go by the wayside. You can't. You also saw G2 get off to a flying start on Mirage and ended up in the next seven half. Hades spotted CT. And that should be enough information. That should be enough information on its own to be planting that bomb uncontested. And after plant from Shaw, a boost available should they fancy it, and two coming in from long side. Yeah, they do look like they're going for this, right? And there is cash to splash, so you can understand, and considering how woeful things have been going for G2 here, Ents may as well have a look. Hades establishes pick control. Dota pushing up on the close wall. Dihar drawing attention, and that Molly pushing them wide. Shaping up. More nade damage. Where did their health just go? And a miss from Hades. That might be enough of a deterrent. He has put it down in time, but yeah, no time for that defuse. Okay, well, a third, and, and this time through guns. The kills came their way again, though, right? You saw the aggressive maneuver up through the up. Oh, it's going to look different. It's a long take, finally, here. They're using these spawns. Going through it, going fast. It feels different already. Now, with the mid push right now, you can push on up, and that's how what we've seen as an answer to this old and long. Sphinx is already taking advantage of that, right? You know that there's not going to be an Orper in T-spawn that can stop at least this. So he's going on through. And now we're looking more regular programming here. I was wondering when we'd see this round. It took us 12. Yeah, and I think that was a big issue to do with the spawns that were available for G2 here. So finally, with the guns available as well as the spawn, it comes on through. But a flub flash. Yeah. Snappy's got all the vision in the world and actually just dropping out smoke to play around. That might buy time. They'll throw out their wall. The first part of it, that underhand nade is good as well. We'll be checking in on They have to go A, though. They are coming. Nico's legs can be spotted about. Oh, no. Snappy on the jump. That is quite the condemnation. Now, the deep one towards Ram. And Nico catches another. Spinks on the advance. Deha, what a strong start it was from him. I fear... That is just a uh, demand too high. Yeah, I might actually have to go for the save this time round. So not even going to consider the look in on the retake. All five staying alive and G2 are now changing the narrative. And I think that frustration was starting to bleed in, especially the round where they retook B and Snappy swung dry through window, right? Because that's not the type of counter strike you're expecting. He was on his own. And, and, and that's where the frustrations would start to really boil over for G2. But I think it's a frustration that would help them. And what I mean there is like, oh, this is the type of, this is, ah, oh, I see this now. Is what you want to do. Yeah, and they're more than happy to do that, right? Don't question whether or not they want to biff in that same regard. So four on the... With some of the uh, aggressive maneuvers they've been pulling off and succeeding with, as well as, of course, the individual brilliance of Dihar coming in long. Good spot. Hunter not quite on the mark. Vision restored. Nico again with the double nade swallow. Snappy looking for a third. It's provided by Hades and Entz right back to their fighting ways. Nex has got a gray screen. He's trying to play around it towards that blue bin. This could be something from Nexa, but the combination of bullets and flame put it all onto Amanek to extend their lead in this CT half of a must win map. So many ramifications, and Amanek's having a walk. It is only Deha. It's not like he's going to get shot in the bottom. Only the highest fragger in the server, I suppose I should specify. And yep, looking the wrong way. B and maybe some lower presence was being flirted with. You could see multiple members around the mid doors. And Amonex had success on that, but only five kills. You can see it has only come through the scout and the AWP. And not all the rounds where he found those openings were even converted. So might be feeling hard done by this impact. Isn't two profited two upon. standard rounds in a row. Ah. Yeah, normality, it resumes. Here comes the nades again. <laughs> that one. He has been mollied back, so I don't think he'll try to nade lower dark again. Jax with three kills. You'd love to see him get an opener with that AK. Or B side. I think they can hold on to that information. Admittedly, the smoke up may plant some seeds of doubt. 
speaking of smoke, that's the penultimate drop by Entz. Short control taking, we're at that 40 second marker. Hunter lingers tons, will continue to try and... Splitting B, I think. Split B, oh yeah. Quick, so just deny short, snappy. Calls for the flash, they are doing the dance. Even trades, leaves Entz at an advantage. Spink still tucked in aggressive. It's up to Nexa, he needs this duel, and he does get it. The orb. Through the flash, Hades has revealed himself to be in the sight, and Nexa has made space in pursuit of the fifth. Do they consider this? They've got cash. They don't have players. Doto last, spotted out as well. And so G2. When they get to play standard dust too, seem to be realizing that ultimate goal. So many players across Amanek's screen and he just gets blood splattered on the back wall. That's the only conclusion reached by him. Two, aggressing the tons, Hunter. They struggle with this multiple times. The two cousins partner up, anticipating more, and both connect. Ends up to the cheeky antics. Spinks, they know he's a B player. Snappy's pushing along here as well. Yeah, and Nexa was, and is still is, actively patrolling. I think it's probably a good call here for Snappy not to keep pushing. The two deaths have come from aggression here, and the rounds that G2 have started to pick up is all through Entz pushing the issue. So those tricks that worked earlier are starting to be found on out, but Spinks trying his luck here. AWP posted on a very aggressive line, and he wants to look for more. The flash that's well-timed, but he's ahead of it, and the shot wow. is good. There is a trade from Jax. Yeah, surely they, they know that that's the B player down. At most, it's Hades. There's the indicator that he has rotated, so they're what piecing it together. They, they really are, and with 50 seconds, Chad, the world's their oyster. The map is theirs. Next is going long. Again. Oh, he can ruin everything, and he has. Takes down one. I think he suspects Jax was the partner with him, and that's the bomb. So Jax needs this, does succeed. You know where Hades was. You do. And the bomb trying to get across, but they have to get across Hades' line. He is aware. Look at the time. This could be real. Jax, oh, no, look at the at. Way. Okay, problem. Big problems for G2. Hades suspects the ace base has been taken. Here comes Nexa. Can he save G2? Around, they only manage five. So somebody else having to step up now as we do turn our attention towards long. Hunter straight in towards lower, and it's a heavy B lean well, as well. They suspect they might be getting cheesy towards the tons. So if Nico caught in transition, he's got the whole squad to deal with. Tries to stabilize the aim. Bomb spotted. Amanek desperate to delay. And they're scarpering to try and back him up. There's no smoke for the cross, right? They haven't had confirmation that the whole squad's there. It's quite a slow rotate out of Nexa and Jax. Oh, they did a deep CT smoke to get across here. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. And Amanek, oh, aggressive. Catches him on the reload. It doesn't matter because Dija's here. Hunter with something. Needs a lot more. A lot more. It has to be a different candidate if G2 want the hero to deliver this pistol. And it's looking bleak. Working with scraps of HP. And this is great from Enz. Hades takes the double as well. And there's a smoke in CT spawn, right? It's going to make stopping the cross very difficult. You either have to be in CT already pushed up long. And G2 oh, have gone for the force. Full investment, Chad. This has to be frags. Has to be. Next has been given an intervention from God with that one. Low, Doto, cowering in fear. Can anyone bail him out of trouble? They're trying. They're trying to get him out. Low, one bullet would do it. Nico really struggling to connect the dots. Now he does, and only Hades remains. He's got the bomb at his toes, and a tag into Hunter's uh, start. A Galil more promising as well. I well, can go, and he can pressure this mid to B. I'm an egg. Oh, <laughs> Holds it. 250, a Deagle, Util, and we're going to turn our attention towards the B side of the map here. Three players gravitating towards the second letter of the alphabet for G2. Hunter and Amanek close around mid. Next are tasked with a lot of room. And if it is the mid to be, they have the pieces in the right place. Nico's even floating back over as well here. So hedging their bets, they know what's coming, G2. Look at all the bodies they have to deal with this. There's nobody watching short. I know that we can see Amanek covering off with the scout. Now they'll have to respect this because that rotation is made more than possible with the hinge smoke, but they're set up for the B play. And now it's just Dexter on the site. He's alone. Hunter's so far away, Alex. They're yeah, going to overwhelm him. Nico and Amanek evacuate. They're coming in. They're coming in. in. They come. Nexa 
Got to deal with a couple here. Again, oh, blind! Straight into his crosshair. That's back-to-back -back impact with a white screen. Can they stop this plan? They want to disrupt. That Utah would be so perfect. He's in! Oh, denied. Aggression from Nico. Fighting fire with fire. They. What a finish this is. What a finale we're getting. This quarterfinal ending with a bang. There's an alternative to counter the CT aggression. <laughs> Just hang around to T-Spawn and set up a bit of a tank. We haven't seen that one before. Imagine rounding that corner. Yeah, they're happy to wait out the U2 here, but I think luckily for them, G2 threw out a lot early. So Molotov's top mid, a lot of HEs. You always need a bunch to deal with anything long. And it really is just Glocks here. They're the human centipede right now as they're going to follow each other around. Amanek more than happy to pluck them off one by one. Hunter churning them up to the MP9. It sinks. And Amanek into the Tech 9 to Carrigan. And he said overtime. Let's see if that comes true. The boost. Erected, the kill not found. Amanek aware of the potential. But no long time. Push and stepping oh. into it, Hades. That is quick. There's a star in favor of Eds. Uncertainty brewing as well in the G2 camp. No real clear picture as to where this T side plan to conclude. They are playing 2-2, two -two, and with the AWP down, it's hard to hold A without an AWP. Now, lucky for them, Nico's rifle to the dome can occasionally look like an AWP with how quickly he can pluck them out, but he's going to have to hit bangers here. And well, I suppose more good fortune for Nico is the fact there's no Molotov to disrupt that site position he currently holds on to. There will be a smoke wall most likely. As a mid-to-be smoke will hold the two players over towards this side of things. Nexa and Hunter now cottoned off from the team. Oh, and they push through. He's not ready. Completely booked. Anything left to be said. It's not going to be Jax opting to play for the retake. Clear the long doors late. That's saving. Yeah, they picked up that orb from Amanex cold dead body. His death was well, really just showing what was on the rest of the rounds here. Hence pick up their 12th, and it feels easy. Yeah, I mean, we talked about how G2 were, were uncertain and it's kind of just keeping their cards close to their chest. And it led to uh, uh, Nico's demise, just looking a bit silly there with his nade in his hand, walking through that lurk smoke. So often, even G2 giving us examples of it, it was just thrown out as a, you know, smoke and mirrors. So you can understand the justification for Nico's actions. They are also exiting long safely. Jax is much, much quicker and more ahead of the pack, won't be vulnerable or threatening. All right, well, oh, we're really going to be wild. He's got a shot here. It doesn't quite connect it. Can't count the numbers either. Next, uh, for now, solo B. Insignificant flak damage. And as I say that, there's some significant stuff found. Deher, Snappy. Looks like G2 are also playing the nade game. Yeah, Nico's been able to pick up another here now. That Second nade can be used if he hears them jump on up towards Xbox. He could also save it as they start to regroup for the short. Execute and tag. Jax, you need to think better of that push, and he will. Lucky boy. Yeah, Hades holding that line. Probably going to be scratching his head as how that one didn't finish him off. Molly close doors. Clearing out anybody lurking up close and personal here from G2, but Snappy's out. Ahead of it. Ahead of it, and knocks the head off of Nico. And that's all they wanted. Gets the CT, he's back into a defensive stance. They're about to just wave into this A site. They need to pull Amanek back here. He needs the orb to contest this. So they're changing positions with Jax, but is it too late? He's got a lot to, lot to do. That's the chance and it's shy. They were lined up, could have been two, it's none. And the flashes continue to suppress, space is taken, sight is theirs. Ends flying that flag high. It might have to be the save again oh, here. Peeks off his own flash. That would have been inspired. How are they going to go for this? There's a lot to lose. Maybe if he posts another. And Hunter's flirting with the idea as well. This after plant should be locked down. The flash is decent. Good snappy one out of Hunter. Deha trying to save the day. It's only Spinks now. G2, this retake was such a risk. And now, hard part surely concluded. Already Where's on the, the cover. Where's the oh, cover? Oh, he's going to get them both. Spanks, Game plan here, and it's going to be the 3-2 split. 
back towards long. Hello, They're going man. fast. Okay, well, that, that works for the G2 setup. There's three here to receive. The smoke to guys the cross. A chance for Nico to strike, and he does string together some damage and a frag. His own nade looking promising, too. There's more to come. Shots into the smoke. The Kovac cousins partner up and have succeeded. Spinks the hero from the prior. It does really look like he's up the creek without the paddle. Bomb loose under CT control. Spinks at 16 points of health. Do they push forward though? There's so much time for this. Amanek helping them clear out the corners and Spinks just hanging. There's two players that are super low right here. Nico's one bullet away. Hunter as well. And well, Amanek with the AWP, if he misses, he can die. Spinks could pull off something magical here. Oh, never mind. Gotta talk through how this map is gonna finish. Make your predictions. It's so up in the air, I truly don't know. Look at this by Chad. Double AWPs here as well, coming out for G2. So Ents have pushed all their chips into the middle of the table with this purchase here, and they're hedging that the B bomb site might be quite susceptible. Amanek gonna post up towards back of plant. That's gonna be perfect. Nexa over towards Car as well. It is a good setup to deal with a B pounce. Amanek to be tested. Support in the form of Nexa. You can see what Snappy's doing here, right? The hinge smoke will traditionally draw that CT player back, so he won't be able to contribute quickly if it is a B play, but Hunter being ahead of it. Oh Amanek's dear. Leaving. Oh dear, Amanek. Amanek's leaving. He's gobbled up the bait. The hook is in his cheek. Nexa has got so much work ahead of him. Still able to contribute on the first. Blind as a bat. Nexa's down. Enter into the site, and Hunter activates only for the one. This is so up for debate. Jack's going around the world. He will not have a chance to contribute in a while. Nico only just arriving on the scene. They've all got guns now. They've all got rifles here to lock out this site. Jax's utility from tunnels. What's he going to throw? How's he going to help them get back in? It would have to be brilliant. You got a bricks molly from back there? Oh, no. Snappy playing 5D chess. Pulls the opera out of the site. Nexa isolated. Yeah, pushing. Hayes wants to bring the fight to them. And he snaps into Nico's head. G2, what have you got? Nothing is the answer. 14. It's secured by everyone there. The call out of Snappy inspired the fact that G2 completely fell for their trickery. I don't see how G2 can win this round, guys. Look at look at their buy. Somebody needs to step up massively here. This needs to be a mental, individual performance on the pistols. And that's all they have, just pistols. Genuinely has to be full frag movie. Like, we need Linkin Park to start playing now. Oh, yo, yo, you wouldn't repeat that. Nico's been brought down, cut down to 30 HP. There's a small window of opportunity onto the Hades orb. Oh, he dropped down. Does take the head. Nico hitting shots. Two down, maybe a glimmer of hope into round 24. He's delivered whatever he could. Knew it had to be something special. It was. The boost, they've fallen off. It could be punishing. Almanek's filled the gap. The void is... They're pushing! And oh, Jack's another on the dig. G2 are not relenting just yet. It spings for the one. Only Diha. He saved them once. Can he save them again? He has been so good. His impact early was felt. And here, Jack's the warning shots are through. You know where he is. They have the bomb. G2 have been given a lifeline. Oh, that's a tenth. As if this odds these situations. Both teams with hodgepodge buys here. Famous for one side and a scout as well. Tech nines and Galil's on the other, and then back towards these upper tunnels. They go with the lion's share of the Ents forces here. We've already seen G2 leave the bomb site susceptible in several occasions here. Will it be more of the same as peering on down? A lot of pressure towards that mid door. The hinge smoke dropped again, and they know exactly what that does. They know exactly how G2 reacts to this. But, there goes Hunter. Yeah, but that's the thing. They, they could just go towards A this time. And, and now if you're G2, you're going to want to stay stoic towards B. You're not going to want to cheat that rotate. Oh, there's paranoia spreading just with Snappy's moves. He's pulling the strings, the puppet master. Okay, conducting business now. They don't know where to be, where to stand. Think about when we saw this Lurk Smoke come out before. Diha ran through it, killed Nico, run the round. When they've rotated away from the hinge smoke towards A, it's been the B here, and now it's looking like the mid the to doors. B. No one's looking. Hunter's considered it. That's the two smokes. Often with two, that is the indicator of the commit. Both smokes have dropped. Nico, what are you up to? 
That's quick. Super quick. That's the bomb as well. Can't quite catch Hades on the lip of the smoke. Game on. Play on. 30 seconds. They're committing to be Hunter to be tested. Nexa steps up as well. And G2 with all the names in the feed. Last of all is Hades. We all know and love. I'm not sure any of the 10 people in the server love it right now. The love-hate relationship right now. Yep. And we've seen this ferment already within this half. Now, when they've been forced down to the pistols in this similar stance, they just sit back and wait. They're doing the same here. Playing in the fade of the smoke. They actually run on through. There was nobody aggressive, and they're barreling down middle right now. There is still a deagle to play with here, and that's in the hands of Hades. They have the short control. A plant here would be great. Any damage they can do, any kills right now, are worth their weight in gold. Tested in a very big way. He'd love to do some damage. The nade looks promising. Strikes on the flash. Jacks in support. But look at this. Snappy and Sphinx already inflicting damage. Nico has to find it now. And has nothing from Ents to report. A single frag. So snappy scoops up the bomb and he will join them. Xbox smoke out. Hades with an aggressive Molotov there. That's going to deny Nico having a look for this. D high outside long and it looks like a default spread here. Really just going to bide their time and take their time. Amanek has been posted up towards long. That's where you want your Orpa to deal with these short plays. The flash helps clear out lower. They will be able to get the space that they require because the passive stance of G2 now has Nico, the swingman in CT. Hunter and Nexa locking down towards that B bomb site. Amanek and Jax are partnered up to hold A. And we don't know exactly where Enz want to finish this one, but as they start to jump up towards short, we're getting a good idea. Snappy's got a full belt of util. Sphinx as well. So both sides of the map, both of this two-pronged assault are equipped with viable nades. Nico's hedged. He's head back over towards A to help on out. If he can tuck into Goose or A, a ramp, that could be perfect. But right now Ooh. the defense is completely split. Great catch. Snappy has a backup smoke. It's going to imply there's a lot more presence long than there is. And that forces them into a bit more vulnerable positions. Amanex is sitting duck for sure. He only gets the one. He goes down two. Off on the site. And down goes Jax. What a call. What a play for 15. Do they go for it? You can't. You can't risk this. They need the money. It's 1,400. Remember the loss bonus. What a call. It looked way too simple. All the eyes were drawn to long. Ours too, and the kills came down on A. As you see two smokes and flashes coming in. Sphinx confirms your suspicions. Jax is called in long. Amanek actively starts to move away from being exposed to long. Your ramp players can't be sitting ramp when the calls are like coming out like that. You put yourself right in the vice. Doto strikes. Nico falls and ends. <laughs> One round. One single round for four players to secure their very first major. You can't believe it here for Deha, Hades, Sphinx. Doesn't have any armor to go with this, but a little bit of util. Next are into a Famous. The rest have rifles. There's even defuse kits. Now, if we get into sites, the retakes have to be on here. And this is fast towards middle with a util just to stifle that Nico push. Ents looking more prepared for this update so far. Deep mid smoke. Holds them at bay and spraying on through. Doto, his position is noted, but just take a look. The CTs were hanging around at short for a little bit long there. Nico backpedaling and looking at Amanek to potentially do the same. They're gravitating towards this B-bomb side again, all getting soaked on up through the lower tunnels, greeting in upper dark, and it's all going to be on Nexa and Hunter here. They have to go at least two kills between them. At least. At least an incendiary is all that separates them from them. <gasps> Commit. Defensive flash. Time to strike. Snappy's already started as he means to go on. Swinging out. That's something. Nexa starting some resistance of his own, but Sphinx again contributes. Dia can plant. The site is lost. G2 counting on the remaining three names. It's not easy and awkward for the retake. Ain't ideal. Kits are present. Fights to be taken and they can taste it. They can almost touch it. Util to be dropped. Amanek to strike as the flash and the attention is drawn tons. A lurky smoke should enable them a little bit of space to maneuver. Half bomb ticked. Striking again is Jax hiding, cowering in fear is Deha. He's gone too. Can Sphinx do it? Can he get himself to the major? Jax denies. He says play on. It got close indeed, but here we go again. The gun's back out for Ents. Not short on funds, not short on ideas. I'm sure Snappy has a call to immediately punish this.
Amanet contributes. Or they can just play the number advantage you will. now. You can see immediately they just pull back into the site. Set up the uh, barricades. Uh, you're going to have to ask some real hard questions here in the next minute, 20 seconds. You if you're that four letter No, word. no, I'm not. But if something else goes wrong, if they lose another player, and then at that point, you really need to start having that discussion because next round, I always talk about the money here. Wait, they've slipped in head of the molly again. Nico's gone down to this before. He needs to be careful. Smokes. Has he got anyone with util? It's unlikely. Swallows the flash. They're going. The bomb's oh, going. They're accelerating straight into the B site. Hunter and Nexa have to do it again. They've hit pause. They've hit pause. Yeah, coming in top mid, I wonder. He gets no info on this. Spinks just out of the smoke, strikes again, but suddenly it's all blue on brown and we go again. They're left with nothing. And my math is so bad. 13 to two. Same score as Nuke, but on the other foot. G2 recovered with some solid T play. And it's put them in a position now where they can Keep the dream alive of legend status. Look at what they got here. Smash the dreams events down. Oh, this is just some deagles, some tech nines, a scout in play here. There's plenty of Utah, and it looks like, again, they want to head towards B. And we've spoken about throughout this half, that hinge smoke, how it draws G2 into question. Just a smoke is able to confuse them here as Hades is looking for a pick. Toto working on their Xbox control as well. And well, if you're Hunter, be very, very careful. You don't put a foot out of line. They're heading over towards Nico, who's waiting for the flash of Amanek. He's going to be mollied. He can't step into that. He has to drop on off. Molly to slow them down. A deep nade, but it's a little bit too late there. Snappy's the only one to take some damage, and they've got this short control that they were looking for. A lurk smoke towards B. And one in exchange from the CT, so negating each other's presence here. Out the doors again. Hunter. Hunter striking and not gently. So many bodies. He mows them all down. We're off to overtime unless Sphinx has got something out of the realms of possibility. Much here, but let's take a look. We're getting this one underway. And it's continuing on the T side. G2 on that CT half and Ooh. towards B with the early presence. Didn't catch a glimpse. He was looking for info early there, Nico. Didn't get too much to work with. And a CT smoke doesn't seem to be too much of a deterrent. D are making it clear he's ready to fight, ready to brawl. I I'm curious if G2 think they can keep getting away with what they were doing, right? Because it was them who were being dictated. The game was coming to them and they were having to defend. It doesn't look like they've opted for any changes here. Jax, our most forward member right now for this defense, is, as you see, almost in a line over towards middle. Five players from men's make a bit of a T-bar. One towards lower, one up short, and three in that mid corridor. Nico's nade again, a little bit shy and baiting these out has never been more important. There's the limp smoke over towards the bridge. Nico drops the molly to slow them down. Deha this time round will respect it. Starting to run out of nades here, Nico still with 55 seconds left on the clock and one smoke in his hand. He doesn't want to let them through. He pushes closer to it. Confirms. No funny business. They're still coming though, aren't oh, they? Squad. It's gonna oh, start fading. Nico's committed. It's fading. It's gonna get flashed. Has to unload his mag, spotting another. Not quite finishing the job. It's damage. Two of them are low. Spinks and Dota limping. Amanek, he could get pressured from the swing. They flashed him off. Good, Good shot. adjustment. Can he get anything more done? The answer is yes. Spinks loses his head too. Amanek handing out haircuts and with the big green. Good strike. Oh. Opportunity for Snappy. G2, it was hectic at times, but Amanek delivers when it matters most. Snappy almost had two he huge did. kills there. That could have been the run from G2. Oh, they missed the boost. He did, but a missed shot as well. We're into lower. Hunter hasn't done this that often. There's three of them here. They tend They've to flash flat. this. Yeah, exactly. Here it comes. But ahead oh, of the flash, the flash. Ahead of it, and he turns. He's got time for more. And oh, Hunter absolutely wrecks him. Hey, Snappy didn't wait for the flash. They've been doing it every time. Oh, and even Amanek looking good. Tags up Hades to remain from Ents. G2 looking much more comfortable into the OT. Just a two minute break to shake it off. Coming in fighting fit. But have a look right now at the money situation for Hades, right? Investing in two ops in a row is only left him with a hundred bucks. You can see the other players will have enough money to buy. Next round, the 2,400 loss bonus coming on in. Not in his interest to 
dare I say it? Oh, they got to give it a crack. They need a round here. They need something. How, though? How do you break through? Amanek denies Diha. It's all on to the 26, P 26 HP of Hades. And cleared. Down he goes. Up here, Alex. He gets into the ghost snappy, the selfless. Okay, well, uh, that one right there, I didn't think that prioritized this. He needs to find something that's four towards long. There's a gap in this, and Hades misses. Surely you don't repeat. Whoa, ahead of it. A second by the cherry. It's sour. Shy of the mark. A four man lean of G2's resources for now. It's not often you get two cracks of that. Yeah, it was brave. Oh my, Dodo! Hands him a Last. stern reminder. Oh Cuts my god! Nico! It's like a guillotine! Chops him up! Two clicks off his mouse, Chad, and there's two bodies in the dirt. Anymore? Where that came from, he's still flirting with the idea. Dodo is something, Nico. Down. Sight. Open for business. Hunters turned around. Yeah, they have a pivot. And ends have surely got this one in their pocket. What a recovery. What a recovery. Next are up. And then a lifeline to end here with one round and back underway we go. G2 struggled in that first half. Any more solutions for this? Out long, Jax. The flashes are good. He's on the corner. Spinks has found the first and he's thrust on right forward. Now. It's up to Nico. Can he get up to no good? In the smoke, advancing forward. Dodo greets him with bullets and already a two man disadvantage. This is looking like it's going the distance, Chad. Every single round to be played. Remember G2, their T side, it wasn't fantastic. The pistol round, Nexa had the clutch. They had a pistol round with just some Deagles and P250s that they pulled out of their ass. Gun rounds were few and far between. It's not going to be easy for them to string at least even one here. Let's not even start talking about two. What has this game been? There's more to be played. G2 have turned around some crazy ones. On the CT side, in regulation, Armanek equipped with his AWP. He might have to be the spearhead of this assault. Next to considering a drop CT, that would be brave with a flash. Hades is anti. Walking out. No HP on Spinks. He'll have to watch the flames there. Oh, oh, and another found over the edge of the smoke. Nexa surely needs to get some revenge of smoke now to bail himself out of trouble. Five members of Ent still kicking. It's something from Amanek. Is it anything close to enough? I sus sincerely doubt it. Missed shot, missed opportunity. Next up, something. Needs everything. And oh my, those are some shots. Two of the four required. Might be able to plant here. He is so low, though. Oh, oh bait out the jump. Finish. They get this one through and they get themselves into the major. Amanek shot whistles past the head there of the crossing CTs. Straight on down through lower tunnels. To that. Yeah, a bit quicker than usual here. Now, if they gear up and they take this short control, they can get away with that space. Molly close mid doors is going to hold them back for a moment. And looks like maybe crisscross mid to B smokes. That one from Nico goes over towards the B side of things. You just see how deep that is, so it's hard to get vision over the top of that for Xbox. Yeah, he is, he's kind of shooting blind right now. Dio does not have confirmation of just how much scrutiny he's in, and as well as Util being thrown B, he's kind of stuck between two mines. Do I contribute mid? Do I assume it's clear? He's thrown a smoke tons and continues to monitor mid. Hades on A with the AWP here. It looks like they're coming to his domain. They've got enough utility for the full execute. Now, last time they got stalled out by one Molly. No Molly's left to stop them here from Ents. Flashes, yep, they're good. There's a molly from Hunter as well to be thrown on in, but he's still currently up towards the upper tunnel selling a B fake. Here they come. Oh, Hades does connect. High flash. Pressure mounting. They haven't got across. Dink. Oto doing damage. Next up. Oh, they're all low. He's hitting everything but the lethality. Now only one remains. Ents looking to secure 18 first. It's just Amanek with nothing but three HP. They yep. Is there anything left to be said? How much more can you ask of these boys right now, G2? They've pulled out some ridiculous ones, Chad, but... Spinks.
been solid. Speed sight to be tested. He reacts accordingly. He actually wants to choose to spray, and he does take one with him, but the B site could be open for business. They need a door smoke. There it is. It's a gap. Tiny gap. Exa will manage it. Nico beheads the rotate. Falling just short of the mark on the initial engagements, are ends. They scooped up extra nades in CT spawn for the retake here. Okay, flashes, a smoke as well. Who takes this engagement? Who is brave enough to take that first fight? Here comes the flashes. Almanek holds his nerve. Tunnels is smoked off. Covered M4. Nico needs to get there now. As is the first. There's more to come. Hades just unenviable task with the AWP. Onto the Glock. It could work. Hades head spotted. Hades eliminated. It looks like we... Entz had the same goal. Win your best of three, qualify for the major. Entz are really pushing the limits right now. Miss their molly towards the mid doors, and that's actually going to spur them forward. Entz into lower tunnels here with two. They need to flash to clear this out. This is not going to be easy. Underhand from Nico. He drops in. Oh, and Doto traded. It's Hunter that delivers. Anticipating Snappy. Headshot machines there. One goes down. You've got to deal with the other. <laughs> Replicants. Oh, but Alex, we saw in the first half, uh, you have to go back a very long way where G2, they had number advantages and then they kind of ran around like headless chooks. Two players still towards mid right now for Entz. It's Spinks and Hades, the AWPA. Dihar's over towards A, the Xbox smoke will land and boy, they're going through the upper tunnels right now. If they get a move on, it is open. Entz will have to scramble to get back over. If Hades can tuck himself in deep within the site, if he can get to back a plat, that could be perfect for this. Oh, okay. Jax found. Hades AWP needs more. AWP closed the gap. They're still in tunnels. He's going to get on a timer, though. The pressure mounting. The fame spread. What a snap into Nexa. He's kept it level and then some. Amanek crossed into a 1v1, courtesy of his own hand. He's pulled the trigger onto Hunter. Oh, excuse me. Has close. Walking through the smoke, that would be crazy, crazily aggressive. Diha up close to the door. He will be able to challenge out Amanek should he... 30 seconds. Is he going to walk back? Is there time? He needs to commit to B now. Oh! Oh, he anticipated... Managed it so well. Oh, they're trying to juggle guns across here, and Amanek will get that orb into his hands late, so picking this a little bit dicier. But you can just see... The tentative nature of the tees on this now. It's not like it used to be a dust two. They're having to hold their horses on several occasions. They are giving a lot of room to Ents here. And this time round, they're playing like it is the standard dust two. Snappy anchoring long. The orb up towards the short position. The link player of Doto throwing his nades out now towards that mid-door position to stall out the default of G2 and Hades. He isn't backing down. If anything, he's surged forward here. Doesn't want to get too stuck in with the fight. It's just about softening them up. More util to harass. And the more they throw this out, the slower it makes it for G2 to start assembling this short control. Snappy a boost, didn't know, tucked in. They've gambled correctly here, though, because Hades is here as well. Oh, he was. He's back and forth between two positions right now. It's going to come down to the timing. Is he safe from that flash? I suspect he is. Full vision. Oh, no. Still unloads his mag. It's a one for one, nearly two. And Hades sticking around. Makes the AWP presence known. Back to short. Cancel and look at Nico and Hunter. Already make it just Hunter. They need to and go B. Is fast on the flank. Entz set up for success on the defensive start. Have to go B. Yeah, there's only Amanek left. He has all the freedoms in the world. 30 seconds. It does have to be a B finish. He knows that. And so do Entz. The smoke indicates his presence. Spinks unwilling to commit a high nade. And uh, Brick's position predicted Amanek. Cog's turning. Oh, uncertain. Bricks. Oh, spotted now. And he's that shot. Gap closing fast. Amanek with it all to do. First found, and yeah, just enough time to plant, but they will close the gap. Surely not a no scope. Time sensitive mission. Getting it down. Just about gets the bomb down. One ahead of him. Oh. And Diha pulls him across the line. Amanek, fair play. He put up a fight, a team ace for AK out. Just a smoke to his name. Hunter Light on Util as well. And well, now they're just sending everybody over towards those upper tunnels. It is just going to be Nico left to his own devices here. Snappy's going to call a lot of mid presence clear here. Oh, that nade looks destined for glory. Big, big damage, and there's more to come. If they continue to linger there, Snappy may get into position to drop it again. Confirmation from the Tracer Fire that there is more action. Close mid. 
They need a round. They need yeah. something G2 going into the second half of this. Ends pulled it off with the one. To extend play, look how so many more nades for are. him. If he throws one mid doors, if they throw him into B smokes, he might just devastate them. Whoa. About four members of G2 white there. Here comes a HE. Oh. Yeah, spotted out one CT. Jax with a solid headshot. Snappy's unloading into the smoke. They're committing. Just Spinks. Has to be. It's chaos. Absolute pandemonium. Spinks does fall. Doto left all alone. He's being spotted out as well. Jax gets that info safely. And this is the elusive round. Can Doto pull anything out of the hat? Been good in the clutch. He knows he's low. You can see why he's pre-firing the molly. That should be the kill. That's dead. Jax. Is he going to spread? Hooked on the spread. Surely. Surely. Staring at it. It may have cost him his life. One on one now. Mano El Mano. Doto versus Nico. Oh, no. Bomb's half gone. Where's the pre-aim? Cool head on his shoulders. Crosses in the right place. Oh! So are the bullets. Doto. It's a clean sweep from Entz. Touching distance to the major now. One more round again. We side and Hades has his AWP. Three. Three series points. They've never had a gap like that. Hand on the T side as well where it feels like, you know, they might have a call from Snappy here to get them through this. Again, it's this standard three players towards the tunnels we're seeing and Hades, Diha, they're tasked with back a cat and the long presence. There's that flash towards lower. Nade's not anywhere near as much damage as what Snappy's were doing, but he'll cop it down to 76 and they can throw whatever different look they like here, right? It can be desperate, it can seem silly. It can be outside of the box. It doesn't matter with three opportunities. You may as well try something. Yeah, right. Throw something different into the mix when you've got a little bit of a cushion. Hinge smoke considered. Does it dry? Maintains their util. A deep CT smoke to buy time. Plenty of time on the clock though, right? So we've just hit that minute mark. It's going to fade. They've only got one left as well. Not like it's going to play too far into it, but... Amanek's over here with flashes, Alex. It looks like he wants to alley of Nico up for this fight. Now, it didn't work for them before because Nico got mollied out. Now, if Ents aren't as diligent, it could pay off. But haven't we seen this strat? We have. We've seen this before. Yeah, last time Nico and Amanek got caught out by this. The feign, long aggression. Jax is sitting in the open. Sphinx again does what he did before. Will Amanek have anything more? Hades on the re-peak. He's They're missed his missing. shot. Everyone flustered on the re-peak again. Amanek greeds three for Three more it. kills. They are three kills away from the Major. And Sphinx falls. Bomb's loose. Bomb is loose. The flank's coming. Sammy's still coming. You can count on Doto. That's one thing for sure. The flashes are turned. No one losing vision. 12 seconds, Chad. And already Snappy tapping away. Next are low. Down and out. Six feet lower. All onto Hunter. Has he seriously got anything left? It shouldn't be.